If we do not act now, my people's entire way of life is at risk. My name is Hana Edensha. I am a member of the Cheats Gitney clan and I am from Haida Gwaii in what is currently British Columbia and I'm 17 years old. I am fighting for um, children's rights to a clean environment and it, as it is the key to a healthy community. I am one of 15 youth plaintiffs suing the Canadian government for their actions regarding climate change. So we are suing them for the ways in which they are perpetrating the climate crisis and their inaction to solve the climate crisis as it affects our rights as youth and as citizens of Canada. Our language and culture is the land. Our ancestral knowledge of the land has led ours to be a culture and ethic of stewardship for the environment. That is why I am a plaintiff in this case to protect the land that my people have lived on and cared for for over 14,000 years. Recently, the courts struck all of our claims in the lawsuit. We will fight that in the Supreme Court, but that is, that is very disappointing to me that I have to fight so hard for my rights, that they can't simply be prioritized because they are being violated. If we don't win the lawsuit and Canada continues to live the way it does without the kind of consent of youth because it infringes upon our rights, the impacts of climate change will only worsen um, to the extent that we won't be able to live in the same way and the future won't be safe for future generations and for the youth of today. My elders have told me stories about our rivers being full of salmon, but for most of my life, these rivers have been empty. The yellow cedar trees, central to much of our culture, are dying. Learning our culture can't be separated from learning on the land, and learning our language can't be separated from learning on the land. And if we don't have access to our land in the same way, because that, that's what's going to happen if we can't mitigate the effects of the climate crisis, I'm so terrified that we will lose my language and so many important aspects of my culture. I think it is very frustrating because as youth, we are going to be the most affected by the climate crisis um, in our future, yet we cannot vote and we don't have a say in the actions taken right now, which will affect the rest of our lives. Um, however, I, through speaking with a lot of fellow activists, I've come to realize Youth do hold so much power when talking with adults and when like you know your rights and you know what you are fighting for because youth are kind of a symbol of the future.